dangerous driving conditions here in South Southeast Texas right now. And Nick, I mean, you had to get creative getting to this scene, right? I mean, I saw you posted on social media too. You even saw a group huddled up where I'm assuming they were waiting to be rescued. Yeah, that's exactly right. We, we had to drive around to an area where we could actually get off on a frontage road to get over here because it was just simply, uh, it was not easy because, uh, you know, there was, it looked, a lot of it looked like this where it was all underwater and you could not safely drive through it. You know, we tell people all the time, don't turn around, don't drown. And so, uh, you know, we were doing that ourselves. But, you know, it's the gentleman, by the way, that was just rescued is now in the ambulance right now being checked out by paramedics. Uh, we're standing outside. Hopefully we're able to talk to him when he comes out. He, he looked at the good thing is when he, he looked okay. You know, everyone held their collective breath. When he put on that life vest and, and was holding on to that preserver as he came over with the ring, and uh, but thankfully he seems to be okay as we're just waiting for him right now. Now, now Nick, this is Travis Herzog, and we see a lot of other submerged yeah. vehicles. From your vantage point, can you see if those vehicles are empty? Those are the ones that we see in the water right now. Have those folks been able to get out? Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anyone in the vehicles. Uh, thankfully, there are some. If you look over there. You can still see some people trying to drive along 288, uh, turning around. But uh, as far as the submerged vehicles, no, Travis. And on the other side of 288, that's where I saw a group that was just standing in the median, huddled, waiting to get, uh, you know, a lot of receipt or get rescued themselves. But yeah, the vehicles that are submerged, I do not see anyone in those vehicles, which is definitely, uh, you know, good news for sure. And, uh, Nick, we uh, see you fighting with the hood of your jacket, uh, and the wind is still, yeah. in your words, yeah, wicked, right? Wicked. Yeah, the wind's wicked. You know, from Massachusetts, I'm used to this in a blizzard, not a hurricane. <laughs> there you go. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, the winds are definitely wicked out here. But you can see the, the, the firefighters, what a heck of a job they did. Right. Oh, saving yeah. that man's life. And, and, you know, the wind is, I'm having a hard time standing. Imagine being wow. out on a ladder going over the, the freeway, dangling out there to save that man's life. I mean, that is heroic to do something like that in these conditions for sure. And, uh, you know, we're still standing outside the ambulance. Uh, this, that, that gentleman's being checked out. So right. hopefully well, he'll, you know, get the all clear and we can talk to him. And we were saying...